into them, I don't know, goblets or whatever they are. And unlock a door, I think. Alright, let's... Well, first, I'm going to check, so it's like, oh, it's the diamond one, hey. Put this back for now, I don't know if I need it. Oops. Alright, well, I think this is a good place to end the video. Um, thanks for watching. If you uh, want to see more of this Resident Evil or me play more games like this, uh, just uh, leave a comment in the oh, in the description. Sorry, leave a comment in the comments section. Uh, rate this video to let me know whether or not you know I'm any good at this crap. And if you'd like to see more videos, more Let's Plays, then just subscribe. Thanks. See you next time. Hello, welcome back to Resident Evil 2 with Weir's Claire A mode, or scenario. I'm Claire right now. Yeah. Claire's probably one of the most, she's probably the second most badass female character in this series. Jill, I think, would be first. Although some of the other female protagonists in this game are kind of lacking. Uh, anyway, last time... Um, we went up to the, um, outside of the building, or like the top of the building, um, and figured out that we need to get a gear to let the clock tower run again to open up, I think, a door. Uh, there's also a plane that crashed, and I had to put out the flames so I can get to the area which I'm heading to now in order to put some gems into these, the statue. And I got one of the gems from... Um, the basement, not the basement, the, the main floor. There's a picture they have to burn, so now I have both gems. I have to put them in here. I also found the key that I was looking for, so I can unlock. There, okay. I can unlock that some of the doors that I was thought that I could unlock to begin with. So now, god damn it. There we go, now what'll happen? Gives me something, I think. Oh, we also heard a woman scream before I came into this room originally. So we're gonna find out who that was. And what these stones are for. Even though I th think they're for the chief's office. He has a bunch of... Like a secret doorway or something you unlock it with these stones nothing's more creepy in this game and other similar games like it than when you have like you know kind of somber mood settling music and then it just goes quiet because then you're like something gonna jump out at me I have a feeling someone's gonna jump out at me put that with the other one <clears throat> Uh, and now I'm going to unlock... ...some doors. Gotta remember which doors to unlock. I don't remember they're... there we go. Oh no, no mind. <laughs> I was looking for a select button. Or, uh, sorry, a map button. But there isn't one. Looks like I unlocked all the doors there. I think there's two. Two or th yeah, those two or three rooms that I haven't been in yet are unlocked by this key. Oh, I really want to find more herbs. I think I'm fine right now, yeah. Oops. Once I get to cautious, I will save again just in case, because I really don't want to do all that again. <laughs> Door unlocked. Oh yeah, I haven't gotten in there yet. 
don't remember what's in there, but other than that, you know, cop guy that told me stuff and then died. Could have given me his gun and his ammo. No. I haven't played this game enough to completely 100% memorize the quickest way to the quickest areas. In the original one I have, I've played that so many times. And, like, I've played, I think I've beaten it f a total of four times. Three with Jill, one with Chris. And, but I've played the game, a, a, you know, when you're bored and you just want to play something. Resident Evil, the original Resident Evil for me is like a real, a game that you can, uh, you can easily just pick up and play. Because, uh, and there's like different modes and everything. There we go. Ah, oh, I can unlock this door now. <laughs> Let's hope there's no enemies in here. Shit. There are a lot of enemies in here. I'm gonna unlock another door first. Why? Because I want to see if there's herbs there. Because there are four zombies in there. And that's just shit. I might get my grenade launcher and just plow through those first three. But I know I'm definitely going to get down to caution if I fight them. I think this is where the interrogation room is. Could be wrong. Could be going backwards. Shit, I think I'm going backwards. So this leads into the library, then I am going backwards. Shit. Well, all right. I guess I will just. I guess just try to plow through those zombies. Ugh. I hate not having any health items. <laughs> Because when you at least have one health item, you were willing, more than willing, to just risk at least one attack. You're just like, ah, whatever. At least be half health, it'll be fine. But when you have no, no health items, even if you're at full health, you're like, I don't want to risk anything. Because I don't know when the next health item will pop in. Because you battle for zombies, and then next thing you know, you're attacked by a boss enemy or a mini boss type enemy. All right. Normally I save all of my biggest ammo, but I haven't found. I don't think. You, I guess you can't find the shotgun because. You have the bow gun instead. Oh well. Did you grab everything up here? So many zombies. Yeah. Alright guys, you're going down, hopefully. I have two of these, so I should be able to take on at least two of you. <laughs> hey, what about me? Oh, come on. No! Get off of me! Oh, come up. Crap, I'm almost... Please let there be one health item. Oh, there's one more guy. No? Good. Are you dead? No, there's one more guy. Shit. Damn 
Wait, what's that? Sure, uh, I guess I'll use that later. Been blocked by the helicopter. A detonator. Oh. There's like two of them now. God, why are there so many zombies in here? What's this? Yes, please. Now, a health item would be nice. I know they're on the other side of this wall. I'll try bowgun and see how powerful it is. Okay. Oh god, you're right there. Uh, no. Come into view so I can see what I'm hitting. Why are you so slow? <laughs> This sounds so sad. Oh, it's unfair. I think they're dead. <gasps> I did it! They're dead! Until I walk up to them and they bite me and I die. <laughs> I'm so optimistic. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, you freaking jerk. Maybe there's herbs in the trash. What's this? I would like that, thank you. Shit, I am so screwed. I hate this game. <laughs> Alright, let's reload. No mind this gun. Put plastic bomb away. Develop the film. I think I can develop the film. Ugh, man. I guess I'll save too. Ouch. Alright, first things first. Get this out of here. Out of here. Oops. Ugh, pardon me. Keep the gun for now. Develop the film and then save the game. Ooh, what the? Oh, that's weird. That's Birkin's arm. Koji human body experiment. Well, it looks like his arm. Whatever. Oh, I hate being injured. I'm so mad now. God, there's five zombies in that small space. So unfair. Alright. Don't worry, Claire. We'll magically find you. Some uh, herbs to eat, or possibly for a first aid spray, that'd be nice. To a liquor, I'm screwed as well. Any more than two zombies or liquor. Where do you lead? <coughs> uh oh, I don't like the music. <laughs> oh, I found a herb though. That's what's important. I don't like the music. Heads off. I know. Oh, this is the room. 
the detective is, was. Why is it so menacing? Jojo. Thanks, Jojo. That's what it says on the walker. I don't know why. There might be an a th a Easter egg thing. Oh, there's a note there. I didn't see that. Wait, can I turn around? Nope, that's... Yeah, in, in uh, Resident Evil 3, they had this mechanic where if you hit the run button and back at the same time, you turn around, and it's in a lot of the... I think after Resident Evil 3, it's almost in all of them. Oh, to Leon. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is just him saying, Thanks! We can't wait to work with you, Leon! Okay, I don't know if there's anything in here. Wait, are you a zombie or are you just sitting there? Because I think you're a trap. Yeah, you're a trap. Oh, no, screw that. I ain't dying today. I missed twice, but I gotcha. Bam, now I'm back to where I was. <laughs> oh, detonator. Probably. Yeah, now I can blow up that wall. Well, that's it. Oh, I thought there was something behind the desk. Nothing suspicious. Okay. Well, if there's anything else left in here for me, unfortunately. Ugh. <laughs> One herb. Where do we go? Upstairs? Yeah, let's go upstairs. Blow up that wall. Which I'm not positive, but I think it leads to the chief's office. <laughs> oh, all the way over there! Combine those two. Yes. All right, let's blow up some stuff. In any other zombie world, this would be a bad idea. It would just attract all the zombies. Not in Resident Evil. In Resident Evil, zombies can't open doors. Only tyrants. <laughs> Kaboom! I think a zombie walks through here, I'm not sure. It's just an opening. Oh, maybe I'm lucky. Woohoo! I know there's something in here. Maybe a few somethings. Oh, I was right. Never mind. This is the chief's office. I don't remember if there's anything in here. Like herbs. Or just, you know, a dead girl. On his desk. Just, you know, the average. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. Hey there. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. 
Other That's what? That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her, but I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin, nothing short of perfection. Not.